What's up, YouTube? It's your boy DR2727. Shout out my Transformers Collective, one twelve scale collective, whatever you collect, shout out to you. And this week's 2MP and not 10P is KLC's transition to their version of Blaster. And we do this every week for 2021. We just talk about a figure for my collection, say if it's an MP or not an MP by today's standards. And normally what we do is we do like a pro con, con pro what I don't like and what I do like. But I think that this isn't going to work for this figure because ultimately there's nothing really I hate or really do. It has cons, but no real major cons. But it has a, a bunch of nitpicks. So let me just come out and this is probably going to be the quickest kind of, you know, grade of a verdict ever. It's an MP. It looks like Blaster is, you know, sculpted perfect. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's blasted. Scales perfectly. And it does a lot of things really well. It doesn't really do any... The look is what it does perfect, right? And for me, that's kind of the best thing. It looks just like blaster. Where it kind of fails it is kind of building materials. And not building materials from the standpoint it's falling apart, but building materials like it feels really light. Like it feels hollow almost. It doesn't feel like it has a lot of you know, it don't have to be fully painted fans towards die cast stuff, but it needs to have more into it and it doesn't have it. It has like it the materials are okay. Not really they aren't horrible, but they aren't really great. And it's it's just one of them things where like I can find problems with it, but nothing where like I wouldn't say it's not an MP. I think the biggest challenge to this is that fans towards is rumoredly coming out with a blast and went for, and you know, Fans Toys is going to hit on the things that this one doesn't like. The problem with the version I have is it's the pure red version. Like, they had the metallic painted version, but that I have had that one and the paint wasn't that good on it. I know they're re-releasing all those. And that's kind of a problem in totality. They shouldn't have done a metallic and a non-metallic. They should have just did one version. This version had this half metallic paint. Because the original metallic painted version wasn't the right color. So I think they should have just went with this color. Because I think this is more of like movie and cartoon accurate and painted this color and um they they would have been better off instead of doing like five different different versions of of them or however many different versions just doing the one version and just putting everything into that i know you have the mold so you know you can keep making them but i just think one version of blast is all you needed like I did, the hot the pure metallic red the other red the, these three different three different type of plastic versions like an orange this one the metallic red and another version like they didn't need all that. They just needed one version. Um, I think that, you know, the articulation is good enough for me. Like the hand, KLC hands, I'm never going to like their hands. So that's a problem. But like, it gets all the poses you want to get into. Like, you know, it's kind of because it, it gets in everything I want it to do or whatever. It has ratchets in it. But like, it doesn't have ratchets in the ankles with most figures need ratchets, especially a figure of this size. Even though it's light, it leans forward. Like, you know, on the back, it has some detail. So, I mean, they did a good job on it. It's just, it doesn't, if you had this figure, it feels very light. It feels like it's probably, I wish I had a scale, but I don't. It probably is lighter than a Chug Hasbro figure, which is, you know, for a figure this size, it's probably like 10 inches. It's very, 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 very unusual. Because normally, especially with S-Trans box, like Fans Toys and Edge Trans box, KFC put a lot of die cast in their figures. So for this not to have any die cast, I don't know if they did that to keep the cost down, but you know, they sh it should have had more die cast or it should have had some die cast or some a thicker plastic because it don't need die cast, but it probably need a thicker plastic so it feels like you, it doesn't feel like you're getting a hundred. It looks like $150, $160, whatever it was. It doesn't feel like $150 or $60, if that makes sense. As always, Edge Trans box gives you top notch accessories. One thing I, you know, I'm not the biggest Edge Trans Box KLC fan, but they knocked the sculpt out the part. This is no different. Like, they did everything good on this, but the materials, even the build, the build is better than the materials. The materials aren't that good. So, like I said earlier, it's an MP. It's just, you know, I think the biggest, the only reason not to add it to your collection, let me say it like this, is because Fans Toys has one coming. And I'm sure that a newer mold is going to have better materials, better paint. And, you know, it's going to be better than this in the whole space. And if that matters to you, it's worth waiting to see what fans to us does. If that doesn't matter to you, get this guy because he's an MP blaster. Thanks for watching.